welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. And today's board game up on the tabletop is called Blinks by Move38. And basically in the game Blinks, or games I should say, you're going to be getting a set of these specific little Blinks tiles here. Now these are electronic and the way they work is pretty simple. You're going to be connecting them with other Blinks and then you're going to be playing mini games. Now in each set of Blinks, as far as the core set and the expansion go from the base game set, you're going to be getting six of them. But in a lot of cases, you're going to be able to use more than six or less than six it just depends really on the game now each and every single one of these blinks has their own unique game that can be taught to all of the other blinks that you own so for instance if you want to play a game like honeypot you can simply tap that little honeypot blink attach it to the rest of the blinks they'll all learn the game and then you can begin playing now this game plays one two three four five six it really just depends on which game you're playing how many number of players it plays they also depend based on the timing of each game some of them are are quicker than others, some of them are going to be longer. You might be playing games like Whack-A-Mole, or you might not even be playing a game at all, be more like a zen-like feature of a game in which you're trying to make color patterns and changing shapes and whatnot, turning the lights off and having kind of vivid imagery um, pop up on your tabletop. Now, the more blinks, the better, because you get to play more games, and of course, you can utilize more blinks and play with more players, of course, but you only need one set in order to play all six games that are provided to you. There's new expansion out which is going to come with more blinks that can be added to your collection that you can go ahead and pick up both of them will be down below link in the description that you can go ahead and check out whether it be the kickstarter or the base set but blinks has a ton to offer and i'm going to show you down below right now what you can play what there is just from what i have here and then you can look at the campaign yourself and see if any of those games resonate with you as well and you can pick those up too so here we have the game blinks by move 38 i have the core game and the expansion to show you this here is the core game and it tells you what is included in it. Puzzle 101, Fracture, Mortals, Bomb Brigade, Barry, and Wham. These are all different games that you can play. They have a different number of player counts. They have a different number of time. And uh, they are different in nature too, whether they be a dexterity game, whether they're going to be a puzzle game, whether they're going to be something that's like a tile placement game or a blinks placement game in this circumstance. Each set is also going to come with a box, the rules for each and every game and how to set the blinks up, and this handy dandy little thing here, which is basically like a a little attachment, a metallic attachment that you can kind of attach all your blinks together to store them safely. So you only need this little thing here, you can put it in your pocket and you're good to go to play the different games. Of course, if you want to play with more of them, you can take all 12 of these guys or even more of them and keep them with you. And so you can play all the different mini games provided to you. Now, you're not going to be playing the blinks on this side. This is just to show you what games are on them, but you will be turning these guys over. And when you turn these guys over, that is where the fun begins and you're going to start by choosing a game. You'll take one of these guys off, select the one you want to play, and you're going to push them all on and have them learn the games. Now, I'm going to turn all the lights off so you can actually get a good look and a good feel of what Blinks look like, looks like in the dark because you can actually play this game or all of these games in the dark. So let's go ahead and cut really quick. We'll turn everything off. I'll show you how to start the system up, how to learn a game and how to play a game, and then we'll come up and discuss the rest of the games. Okay, so now we're completely in the dark, and as you can see... Nothing, right? And we're going to show you how to set up blinks. The first thing you're going to do is turn them all on. And that's all you have to do is just tap these guys here. Once you tap them, they're all going to turn on. And then after that, you're going to choose a game that you want to play. And you'll look at the backs of them. And then you're going to hold one down. Once you hold one down, there's going to be a blue spin that you're going to see just like that there, and you'll attach them to all of the blinks. And the blinks are then going to learn that game. The one we're going to be playing here is called Wham, and Wham is basically like a whack-a-mole sort of game. So as these our guys are learning these things here, you'll start to see these lights that are blue, they'll start turning green, which means that these things have learned the game Wham. And it does take a little bit of a second here. And remember, as these guys learn them, if you want to switch to a new game, you can do that. However, you're going to have to read learn the game wham when and if you choose to play it again now of course these guys are all green now they're ready to go and to start off the game all you got to do is double tap any of these guys they've all learned the game wham so we're going to go ahead and simply double tap one of these guys here 
Now it's ready to go. It's green. It's, it's whack-a-mole. In this game, they're going to turn red. You're going to need to tap them before they turn a different color. And if they do that, you lose the game. Another way you can simply get three strikes is if you hit the wrong colors. And there's about 30 rounds in the game Wham. So you're going to keep going, attempting to hit all of the colors. So if you like little games like Whack-a-mole, this is the one you can play. And of course, you can attach more blinks together if you would like while playing these games. So you can add more blinks for more players. You can have each player play a certain number of these colors here but yeah that's basically one of the specific types now i'll go ahead and show you what happens when you lose the game so if you're not quick enough on the draw if i hit these three here but the timer runs out on this one i have lost the game i would also lose points if i hit the other ones as well and of course so you can play completely in the dark with just this game alone let's go ahead and show you another game so you can see what else these guys can do Let's go ahead and show you a meditative game called Zen Flow now. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn all these blinks on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one here. This guy here, we're gonna, let's learn Zen Flow. So we're gonna turn this guy on. It's gonna spin blue. We'll attach it to the rest of these blinks here. And once again, they're going to start learning the game Zen Flow. Uh, in Zen Flow, it's actually more of a meditative game in which you're going to be able to double click, single click and hold down these blinks and turn them into different colors and you're trying to make different patterns and whatnot. It's kind of like a relaxing experience if you want to go ahead and put on some wonderful zen-like relaxing music you can do so. These guys are pretty much all green and so we're ready to go. I can go ahead and turn them all different colors here. So if I want to tap it one I can turn these guys all the same color. If I want to hold it twice I can randomize them and if I want to hold it down for about a second and a half, I can do that and it's gonna give me a random color that's attached to all the rest of these guys here. So it's basically kind of like a game in which you guys can take turns doing fun little creative things if you want to. And bam, change that, change that. And as you can see, it just kind of gives you that like lighting effect, which is actually really cool. A really interesting like design for a game element. Me and Callie actually spent quite a lot of time playing this one here because it has such unique little twists and turns to it that you can kind of add your own creative spin to it if you want. And you just keep touching and playing with them. <laughs> I feel like a kid at a candy store. You can reset them as well, changing them back to a single color if you'd like as well. But yeah, this is basically the game Zen Flow. And all you're doing is just changing colors around and having fun with it. So it's 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 also a game, but it's also not really a game. But let me go ahead and show you another one here that's actually going to be more of a game for you. And then we'll come up and discuss the rest of them that I played. And last but not least, let's show you the game Bomb Brigade, okay? So let's go ahead and turn all these guys on here. And then we're going to go ahead and show you Bomb Brigade here. I'm going to go ahead and hold it down once again. Let's go ahead and have this guy be learned and attach it to these guys here. Bam. Now let's learn Bomb Brigade. And in Bomb Brigade, it's pretty simple. There's going to be a bomb or multiple bombs if you play with multiple blinks. You can attach more blinks to these guys here if you would like. And one or more of these guys will spin and you're going to try and tap them against shields. And the way you lose is if you hit a shield that is either red or non-existent. So if the bomb hits in this area here that's non-existent, you're going to lose the game. Let's go ahead and double tap this. And if you hit it in one of these areas here, it'll turn colors. So for instance, you don't know when the bomb's gonna blow up. Right now, you're just kind of like setting the bomb. And okay, it didn't blow up. Now it's going faster. Still didn't blow up, it's going faster. Okay, it blew up. And so it changed to this color here and it'll change from like, uh, what is it? Green to yellow to red to dead. And to reset it, you're just gonna simply tap this twice and bam, the bomb starts up again and you keep playing the game. And basically, you know, it's kind of like a pusher luck style game in which you're attempting to try and make sure that you do not hit the red shields or the empty space. And like I said, you can connect more of these guys up and change it up. You can add more bombs to the mix. You can, on your turn, select a new area to make a bomb if you'd like. And of course, make more areas specifically more challenging. And you're kind of like able to see where this is going. It reminds me of one of those arcade games where you're trying to push the button before it's too late. Oh, so I hit this area here in the blank area, right? So this basically means the game is over for me. I'm out of the game because I blew myself up. You would double tap this and the game would continue, but not with you involved in it. It's Bomb Brigade. This one's a, a lot of fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and come up and I'll discuss some of the other games. We'll talk about them and then we'll decide whether or not you guys should go ahead and pick up these games for yourself and for your family, of course. So what I have here are 12 games for the Blink system by Move38. And obviously there are even more that you can pick up. 
a lot of these games play six or more of the blinks together and of course can be played with one or more players. Some of them are going to involve simply playing a game in which you're trying to keep up with the game as long as possible. There's a racing game in which cars are going to go down a track and you're going to be pulling these tracks or the blinks from one side to another attempting to connect the cars as they speed along and if you're not fast enough to do so you'll blow up and eventually everybody blows up but your objective is to last as long as possible. There's a puzzle game called Puzzle 101 where basically what happens is you'll start the game up all of the blinks will have the different little LED lights around them definitely play in the dark it's easier to see at least as far as this game's concerned and you're going to try and match the colors with the colors by attaching the blinks together it's a puzzle game kind of like Sudoku and whatnot where you're trying to connect them all together it's a randomized puzzle so it's always going to be different some of them are more challenging than others but all of them are solvable and you have to try and figure out what works with what and you'll know by the blinks basically blinking back and forth back and forth when you successfully attach and if you don't then they will not work now uh, the Zenflow game like I said before is kind of just a game in which you're tapping and doing certain things to make certain colors you have games like honey which is one of the more popular ones uh, and astro where you're actually dealing with an asteroid rich space field that awaits you there's a, a bunch of games within this system and of course I enjoy playing it with more players and more of of the blinks but six is going to be just enough for a single player to even two players to mess around with obviously more is going to be merrier and these guys are a lot of fun it's something that i really enjoy playing with in the dark and it's definitely a system i would suggest getting as a family gift this is going to be a good christmas gift this is going to be a good game to play at parties or just have something along in your purse or maybe in your pocket to go and take somewhere and show people a unique style of board game it's kind of a mix of technology meets board game Games. It has an idea of randomization like dice. It's got the idea of tile placement. You have dexterity where you're playing the game like whack-a-mole trying to get all the pieces, which we still actually haven't beaten. 30 rounds gets pretty challenging, and I blame Callie for the most part. All of these little guys are high quality. They're very easy to use, and it's really simple to understand how to basically have them learn the games. Uh, I guess a couple small nitpicks are some of them are, are less game than others and more kind of experience, so depending on which ones you want to buy will determine uh, probably whether you're going to enjoy the game more or not. I would also say that uh, you, you need to understand how to turn the system on. You need to start them all up. You need to hold them down. And if you don't do that, it's going to mess it up. You're not going to understand how it works. But I think the rules are very, very clear as to how they function. All of them have nice little cute uh, descriptions of the game on them. They remind me of like little Nintendo cartridges. They're kind of... They're kind of uh, classic in a way retro and i do really like that i appreciate that style and the fact that all the games are so unique and so different i i would strongly recommend blinks if you're interested in buying a game as a gift a stocking stuffer for a family member at a party something to take away and play anywhere you want plane train automobile these guys can be played in your hands they can be played in the dark you can play them in the light a lot of variability is presented in the blinks system i don't want to go through i don't want to go through too many of the games because I want you guys to experience them for the set yourself and check out the Kickstarter but the ones that I played and I showed you I think I played about seven or eight of these guys were all a lot of fun even the ones like the Zen Flow I enjoyed playing and we actually played that one quite a bit just because of how unique the system is and how versatile these little guys are i'm definitely keeping these guys in my collection these are things i'm going to probably loan out to families and whatnot or take to gatherings for have to have something unique and interesting to play and especially for kids this is going to be something that they're really going to dig i definitely recommend the game blinks or the games blinks check out link down below in the description where you can pick up the base game the uh expansion they've got the new kickstarter up for the next week or so and see for yourself if it's something you'd want to pick up overall i highly suggest that if you have the cash to spend then go ahead and pick up yourself a blinks system Thank you guys so much for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If this hasn't convinced you to pick it up, then this next week on Wednesday, I'll have a link in the description. On Facebook, we'll be playing this game in the dark on our live stream. And you can see all the different types of games if you want extra spoilers for how they play with multiple people we'll play with all 12 of them for as many games as we possibly can because they all vary in range and number of players and you guys can go ahead and check out the system yourself and you'll still have a chance to back it afterwards because it should be still going on for another two days after our live stream but otherwise you can check out the campaign right now what you can also do is subscribe to the channel go ahead and push that notification bell button and join us for our streams go ahead and check out the website we do new game reviews every other day or so on the site with you 
unique and interesting writer. Sometimes we talk about the same games and have different takes on them, and you can see who you like, whose opinion like you like better. It's kind of like Dice Tower, you have all those different guys to choose from and whatever fits your specific preference. You can also go ahead and check out our Discord and join us there. We do auctions, we do flea markets, and all kinds of cool stuff. And if you'd like, you can support us on Patreon. It definitely does help us. It lets us be able to ship out more games for giveaways, which you can find on the website and, of course, on our live streams. All right, guys, that's all I got for this time. And as always, I look forward to playing some of these wonderful games on the Blink system with you next time. Playing some of these wonderful games on the Blink system with you next time. Oops. That didn't turn out as well as I thought it would.